When it comes to promoting your business online, paid advertising like Google Ads can be a great way to reach your potential customers. But it can also be a daunting process, especially if you're not familiar with the ins and outs of Google Ads and you're just getting started. You have other important tasks that you could be doing for your business, and Google Ads can be time-consuming. From researching best practices to doing keyword research and creating campaigns, it can be a rabbit hole. And in some of these moments, you might be tempted to pay an agency thousands of dollars per month to manage it for you so that you don't have to deal with it. I get it, but there is something else that you could try. What if I told you that you could create a successful search campaign in Google Ads that doesn't require a single second of keyword research? Think about how much time you could save. Well, that's where dynamic search campaigns come into play. Dynamic search ads, or DSAs for short, are a type of Google Ads campaign that automatically shows your ad for your website based on the content of your pages. These campaigns lead to three major benefits. They save you time, they allow you to show for searches that your potential customers are typing in, and they allow you to identify new keyword opportunities if you want to create a standard search campaign in the future. Take advantage of this campaign type while you can, because with Google's promotion of their Performance Max campaigns, I wouldn't be surprised if in the future they eliminated dynamic search campaigns at some point. In this video, I'm gonna show you where you can find dynamic search campaigns in Google Ads, and I'm gonna give you three tips for you as you set up the campaign. If we haven't met yet, my name is Scott Redgate. I'm an online marketing coach, and I've been in digital marketing for over 12 years. The purpose of this channel is to help you make more and spend less in your online marketing efforts and give you the confidence that you need that you don't have to hire an expensive ad agency that doesn't understand your business and charges thousands of dollars a month to do it for you. Hey, before we dive in, make sure to grab my free PPC cost-cutting cheat sheet. Dozens of businesses like yours have gone through this document and saved thousands of dollars in their Google Ads account. It's super simple, it's quick bullets, and you can get it at scottredgate.com slash cheat sheet, or I'll leave a link in the description below. So here is how dynamic search campaigns work. You allow Google to crawl your website or you tell Google what URLs to include or exclude. Google will crawl those pages and then allow your ad to show for people when they search for things related to the content of that page. The headline of the ad and the display URL in a dynamic search campaign are dynamically created based on the content of the page that Google sends traffic to. That means that you don't have to take the time to write a headline. You do create a couple of descriptions that are 90 characters in length that will appear below the dynamic headline. To create a dynamic search campaign, you go into the Google Ads interface, create a new campaign, select create a campaign without a goals guidance, and then select search as the campaign type. In the campaign settings, you'll see the dynamic search ad setting, and then you can input your website's domain. On the next screen, you'll be able to input the exact URLs or create URL rules to only target specific URLs that contain certain characters. For example, let's say that all of your product pages have slash product slash in their URL. You would be able to limit the dynamic search campaign to only show to those URLs on your website. All right, so let me give you a few tips as you create this campaign. My first tip is for you to take the time and only include URLs that are part of the conversion process for your customer. For example, only include category pages, product pages, or your service pages. I would highly recommend doing this, and I think this is one of the main reasons why advertisers don't see success with dynamic search campaigns. If you allow Google to show for any and every page on your website, they will. You don't wanna be showing on Google for terms like privacy policy or returns information and be paying for clicks to those pages on your website. After you decide what URLs you want to target, you go in and add descriptions and then you can add ad extensions or assets as they now call it, and then you can finish the campaign setup process. My second tip for these campaign types is to bid low, especially at the start you have the ability to set a maximum cost per click. And for most accounts, that's exactly what I would do. Set a low bid because there will be some terms that you start to show for that are related to the page, but they might be more informational or Q&A based and they don't really help you drive sales or leads. If you're bidding low, you're giving yourself some room for these terms to show without breaking the bank. 
My third tip is to monitor the search terms list after launch. This is absolutely crucial. You have the ability to add negative keywords to this campaign that helps your dynamic search campaign get better over time. After a little bit of time, you'll see what search terms or what search term themes are successful and which ones aren't. What I like to do is take the search terms or search term themes that are successful and then place them in a traditional search campaign. It may fit in an existing campaign or ad group you already have, or you might have to create one from scratch. If you add these successful search terms into a traditional search campaign, you'll have more control over the ad text, the landing page, and the extensions that could help drive even more conversions. I'm a huge fan of dynamic search campaigns, but use them while you can because I think at some point, Performance Max campaigns and specifically their final URL expansion feature will take over for dynamic search campaigns. Dynamic search campaigns are great if you're looking to launch a campaign, but don't really know what keywords to use. And they are also really good when you're in a high cost per click industry and you want to find those untapped keyword opportunities that might have a significantly lower cost per click. In summary, dynamic search campaigns can be a great addition to your account, but you'll want to bid low, only include URLs that assist in your customer's conversion journey, and then make sure to monitor the search terms after launching that campaign. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever tried launching a dynamic search campaign. I hope this was helpful for you and it would mean so much to me if you could like this video and subscribe to my channel to give me a little momentum in the YouTube algorithm. Thank you so much. Until next time.